I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong using the 2022 Green Book. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The purpose is to test your instincts because when you make decisions during the Charleston, each one impacts the next, creating a chain reaction. We're going to be east for this exercise and we'll roll the dice to identify the prevailing wind. I rolled a three, one, two, three. So west is prevailing. I'll put a three on the dice. Up on the rack. I'm going to get 14 tiles and then I'll create a mock Charleston. We have a pair of white dragons, red and green singles. In BAMs, we have three, four, eight, nine. In cracks, three, four, five, six, eight. In dots, a six. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would find a way to use the dragons and play my predominant suit, which is cracks. So these can go away. It's one tile off. So for the next iteration, let's focus on, let's see. Oh, I don't have, I need my book. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? As a plan B, maybe we could try for a hand of honors. We do have a terminal with BAMs. So we'll keep BAMs and the nine and see if we do just as well with the Charleston for either BAMs or a hand of honors. So let's pass four, nine, six. Oh, you know what? We need to take a photo of this starting hand because we need to recreate it. This is the dealt hand. So four, nine, six. We'll take a photo of that. We're looking for cracks. We have a one, nine, and a six. So let's pass the nine, the three, and the eight. Try not to pass terminals together if you don't have to. We'll take a photo. We got a keeper. Doesn't matter what number it is, just keep it. And then here, maybe we can do one, six, seven. We got a keeper, a one. So we have three discards and one suit and honors. We have one, three, four, five, six, eight dragons. What about dragon lineup for this hand? That looks pretty good to me. Sequence of one to nine and one suit, one tile paired two through eight, red, white, and green dragons with one dragon paired. That looks pretty good. Three discards for dragon lineup. Let's reset and focus on a hand of honors or BAMs. This is what we started with. Let's see how it goes with honors and BAMs. So let's let the six go odd, maybe another even. 
one and nine, these are honors and a bam. Here's a nine. We do have tiles we can pass. It's a little bit risky. Three, four. We're gonna, oh, there's a bam too. We could play dragon lineup. Maybe we, oh, this would be very risky. I would not do that. Let's let a bam go. No keepers. Let's pass these three. We've got honors. We'll do a white, east, one. Oops. Four discards and a hand of honors. It looks weak. I think the one suit and honors hand was better, but hands of honors would be a higher value hand. So we have singles. There's a pung in there of dragons. So with a pung of dragons, one of each there, Maybe we could try dragons in terms. There's always heavenly twins, but we have a lot of work to do and we'd have to let a white dragon go. Four discards, hand of honors. I think the one suit and honors choice was much better. What would you have done with these tiles? Write it in the comment section below. When you get your dealt hand, you might see a few categories that you can play using the same tiles. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder. One player might see a greater potential for one category, whereas another player might see something completely different. Do this exercise at home to test your instincts. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.